हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा How can the rupee become a global currency? The Prime Minister of India has asked the Central Bank of India to work on it on making the rupee more appealing and accessible globally. Why is this important and how can India do it? We'll discuss that tonight. In China, phone maker Xiaomi has become a car maker and its EV debut is a super hit. 90,000 orders on day 1 and a 7 month waiting period, but the company will incur millions of dollars in losses because of this car. We'll explain why. In West Asia, Israel attacks the Iranian embassy in Syria. Iran says it will respond. Is Netanyahu angling for a wider conflict? What is the strategy here? In the US, lawmakers write to the Justice Department about rising anti-Hindu crimes and temple attacks. Indonesia's new leader goes to meet Xi Jinping in China even before he takes office. We'll tell you why. Bangladesh's Prime Minister has a stinging reply for the opposition's India Out campaign. Vistara Airlines hits turbulence, flights cancelled and delayed. We'll tell you what's going on there. DR Congo gets its first woman prime minister. We'll bring you her story. Also a report on what big tech knows about you and how they're making billions off you. Finally, the art of doing nothing and why all of us must learn it. All this and more coming up. The headlines first. Taiwan's frontland island frontline island on alert amid provocations by Chinese civilian drones. Erdan Island is just 5 kilometers from the Chinese coast. Taipei asks its soldiers stationed there to increase their vigilance. Beijing claims Taiwan as its own territory. An Israeli airstrike killed seven aid workers in Gaza. Prime Minister Netanyahu says it was "quote unquote" unintentional. Most of those killed were foreigners who were delivering food aid to Gazans. Israel launches a probe amid international outcry. In India, trouble for the Trinamool Congress's leader Mahua Moitra. The Enforcement Directorate files a money laundering case against her in the cash for query row. In December, Mahua Moitra was expelled from Parliament for allegedly accepting gifts to ask questions in the Lok Sabha. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi sworn in for his third term. The former army chief will remain president till 2030. He won the election in December with over 89% of the vote. Since 2013, al-Sisi has been in power in the most populous country in the Arab world. Gold hits a record peak prices rise to a new high over the prospect of interest rate cuts later this year in March the bullion rose by 9.3% its biggest monthly growth since July 2020 and IAX suspend its new CEO over allegations of insider trading in 2023 Alex Cruz bought more than 17000 IAX shares just a week before his appointment was announced Cruz had taken charge of the Dutch club on 15th March. <laughs> 